The American Red Cross is a household name, not just comprised of volunteers in the business of performing heroic acts, but they are in the business of building heroes. We talk about preparedness, so we want to make sure that we're ready and able to roll when, when called upon. Classes offered by the Red Cross can not only provide the basic knowledge of valuable life-saving skills, but also the confidence to act in the case of an emergency or disaster situation. I enrolled in the adult CPR AED course, and it only took four hours for me to gain basic knowledge, which could save a life. This is a training device only. No shock will be delivered. Good. But what's the need for certification? It's just a kind of insurance that you've learned a certain standard that the Red Cross provides and that you're consistent with other people who have also gone through Red Cross training. What are some things you might hear or smell or taste or feel to indicate that there was an emergency situation happening? People panicking, freaking out. Mm -hmm. Could be situations where you know, you're in the workplace and something happens, you know, somebody collapses. It could be at home, somebody doing, you know, uh, jobs around the house and having an accident and, you know, responding to that. Out in the community, something could happen. Just being there at the right time to be able to help. Cal. To check a conscious adult, check the scene for safety. Then look for any life-threatening conditions. Are you okay? We'll talk about before giving care and how to recognize an emergency and re start to respond. You be my partner, man? Yes. All right. I got a partner. What's your name? Jordan. Jim. From there, we'll go into the skills. So pick who's going to be the victim first, and the victim is going to lay down on the blanket. All right. He's going to be the victim. <laughs> and start learning more about what you actually do in each type of situation. You want to roll them slowly over to their side. And what should happen is their head should actually be on their arm at an angle facing down. Julia is taking the course as a refresher because it's required for her career as an acupuncturist and massage therapist. To have the confidence to know what to do because when you get into a situation like that, you tend to panic. John is refreshing himself with the CPR course, but he has actually had to put CPR training to use. Senior citizens community when someone collapsed. Are you okay? Went to assist. Call 911. The CPR process, doing the compressions and pretty much the way uh, we did it here. And the issues we found were that uh, it was difficult to determine whether or not someone had actually called 911. You're thinking someone called 911, but maybe no one actually picked up that mantle of responsibility? Absolutely. It's important that somebody be designated. And in my case, I would ask, call 911 and then come back and tell me what they told you. A simulation can only be as good as its design. It did not feel as strange as I would have thought it did. You can take the class so many times, but until you're in that situation, you don't really know how you're going to act. There's always a little bit of fear of that if, if you're not naturally inclined to do this type of work. Um, but with the folks that have had experience with having to use their CPR skills have talked about how rewarding it was and that they've actually saved a life. Sooner or later, you're like very, very likely to need some of those skills. And it's not, you know, it's not like going for a medical degree. It's, it's common sense that anybody could pick up. Shock delivered. Begin five cycles of CPR. In addition to the practical hands-on aspect of the certification course, there's also a written exam. And I hadn't taken a test since college, so I was a little nervous. The anticipation was killing me. Did I pass? Did I fail? Did I get certified? Was I a good partner? Yeah, you were a good partner. So I got a 90 and two 80s. I did better than I did in high school, so. We're off to a good start. If anybody needs their life saved, I think I can do it. Right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good class. <laughs> we did it, buddy. I saved you. And now I'm certified in CPR and AED training. Thank you. You big dummy. <laughs>